Hiya, my name is um, Colin Down from www.cgdown.com, writer of horror, supernatural thrillers. Uh, feel free to hop over to my site and take a look. A little while ago, I released a video on how to insert a baseline pixel code, Facebook pixel code, into a Wix website, specifically for Wix. Um, since then, I've been asked how to insert an event code. Um, an event code relates specifically to, um, well, to an event, um, such as a, per um, a visit to a specific web page, on your site um, as a result of having run a search or land there. So basically it brings back metrics, metrics and analytics for specific events. Okay, and this is what this uh, video is about. So first of all, you know, Facebook, you move to your manage ads. So click onto your manage ads. Facebook ads. Okay, and then click on pixels, wherever that is, there it is. Okay, obviously wait for it to load. Now this works really, really well, obviously if you're running an ad, that's what it's designed to do, to see how well your ad is doing, your Facebook ad is doing on your website. Okay, but it will feed back a little bit of information even from the base code that you have installed. So what you need to do is run a setup pixel Move to copy and paste. Pretty much as you did when you inserted the baseline, the base pixel code, uh, which is this area here. Okay, but if you scroll down, we can store install event code. So install a specific event code. And you have various sort of options here. Search, so um, landing on a page, if you want to sort of track how many people are landing on, on a page in your website as a result of specific, specifically searching for it from a search box, this is probably what we'd use. If you wanted to view content, you want to basically just get an idea, or well, more of an idea, get an accurate reading and analytics and metrics of how many people are visiting a specific page on your website, then this would be it. So this is one that I'm going to choose. Facebook advise that you have at least two. Uh, for it to work effectively you can have as many as you want two three four five um initial checkout add payment info so you can put this on put this code on any page uh, specifically where a visitor to your page is required to enter payment information so you can see how many people are perhaps entering payment information but then but maybe backing out of that and deciding to cancel or uh, cancel their transaction uh, so what i'm doing is selecting view content so you lift click that and it will copy it to your clipboard. Then what we need to do is move over to your Wix page. So this is the editor page for your Wix page. Anybody who has a Wix page will be able to identify with this. Move to your add. Okay, make sure you're on the more tab and then you'll see HTML code. Click on that or you can drag it directly onto the page. So this needs to be inserted onto the page um, that you want to run a specific event for. So I'm interested in determining the number of people that are visiting this page specifically, and it will bring back metrics as to how many people, the duration, how long they're staying for it, blah, blah, blah. Now, Google Analytics will obviously have this information for you. You know, if you are if you use Google Console, Google Analytics, you'll be able to retrieve information directly for that purpose. This is specifically for Facebook. So this distinguishes how many people are visiting your site just generally, how many people are visiting your site directly as a result of clicking on a Facebook ad. So that's what this is for specifically. So enter your code and copy what you've pasted into this section here. Click on update. If it accepts it, it will have a tick. Good job. Now, if you click on preview, this box shouldn't show because obviously you don't want that box showing when your site is live so it doesn't show here so what we do we click on save click on done could have clicked plot publish now i didn't do that but i will do it now so click on pub publish and that's how you insert um, a pixel code, event pixel code, directly onto a specific page. So then you can move to another page, insert a different code in the same method, another page, insert another code. Now, 
it's not much use to be honest unless you're obviously running an ad because that's what it's designed for so what we're going to do i'm not going to actually going to create an ad well i'm going to create an ad part way but i'm not going to submit it fully or enter specific details relating to audiences and um daily budgets and that sort of stuff but what what you need to do and do is create an ad or you can create an ad before that as long as you have the event code um in place on your website on the relevant page so when you come to create an ad you would be asked to obviously define an objective traffic engagement local awareness conversions that's what we're specifically interested in in relation to facebook pixel codes event codes so we click on conversions and when it decides to load my internet's been a bit slow today click on continue or you can name your name your campaign your ad now when you create an ad it will ask you this please select a conversion event because that's what you're interested in doing tracking conversions now it says here that if you do not have a pixel code set up either a baseline or your event code in place then it will show you how to do it there so you need that in place first and the reason for that is that you need to specify an event code that you want to use for your ad now seeing as i've inserted a view content event code i will select that now what would happen is that essentially then you complete your ad so you run through your ad um, united kingdom or america specifying your audience your language um, including all the action types uh, your daily budget as i said i'm not going to go through that process because this is not a really a tutorial on creating ads so once you've created an ad essentially what would happen is that because you've specified an event code there for that ad it will actually it will basically track that okay so view content um yeah so it will track that so your ad will be linked specifically to that okay um so anybody visiting your website as a result of that ad and click on that page on which you have the event code it will feed back um obviously analytics to your facebook page to your facebook ads um and obviously it will know because you've used that view content for your conversion event it has a direct correlation to the event code on your website and it knows from your ad how many people are clicking on that ad or achieving that event you know uh, directly as a result of your facebook ad and that is how you do it okay if you have any um, questions feel free to to contact me at www.cgdown.com drop me a line um thank you very much for listening